For this session, our speaker is Dr. Brian Brown, and Brian is a Senior Extension Associate with the New York State IPM program, and his program aims to improve management of weeds while minimizing environmental, economic, and health risks associated with those management tactics. So today, Brian will speak to us about poison ivy management. Thank you, Brian. Thanks, Matt, uh, and thanks for inviting me, and uh, thanks everyone for coming. Um, so poison ivy is uh, a real concern for uh, a lot of us uh, for a few different reasons. Most, uh, most commonly, the toxic oils that, that they, they exude uh, that can get on our skin or on our clothes and be spread actually on our skin or on our clothes to other parts of our body or other people and uh, can cause contact dermatitis, especially in individuals that are, are very allergic to it. Um, about uh, about half, of, half of the population of, of people in the US are, are, have some degree of immunity, which, which is lucky for them, but uh, I think most of us uh, uh, are sensitive to it. Um, if you do get it on you, you realize it, you, you, you identified it, um, and you wash with cold water as soon as possible, you can really alleviate uh, the worst effects of it. Uh, the cold water rather than warm water is so that you keep your, your pores and your skin closed um, and it it's, um, penetrates into your skin less. It can be a little bit tricky to identify as the, the shape and, and size of it can, can vary. Um, the the leaf edges can be smooth or they can have uh, these serr serrations or notches. Um, and in certain times of the year, especially in the fall, it can have a reddish appearance. Uh, but the one consistent feature is that there's le leaflets of three. There's three, um, th they're not actually leaves because uh, they're, there's, there's a bud at the base of the, the petiole there on the stem. Um, but they're leaflets and and one other um, important consideration is that all three leaflets are of similar size. Uh, I saw some just yesterday that I thought was poison ivy, but that 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 uh, central leaf was a lot bigger than the others, and and uh, so that clued me in that it wasn't. Um, the biology, so it's a perennial weed. Uh, and has a very extensive root system. It, that's how it survives the winter through the, the carbohydrate reserves in the root. So it, it sends a lot of um, you know, basically sugars and, and food for it to survive the winter. Um, and so management is really predicated on attacking that root system. And you can do that in a few different ways. Um, by repeatedly cutting or, or hoeing off the top growth, you're forcing it to send up a new shoot. Every time it does that, it's drawing down resources uh, from the root system. It's depleting the root system. Um, so repeatedly cutting off the top growth uh, very carefully with, with personal protective equipment uh, is one way to go about it. Um, more effective are typically are used uh, systemic herbicides such as glyphosate or 2,4-D or triclopyr, which are available at your local home store. Um, and those actually are translocated down into the roots and attack this root system. Um, but even herbicides can take several applications over a few years to completely eradicate the plant if that's what you're interested in. So for quicker control, there are landscaping companies who will come in and suit up with all the PPE and actually dig out all the roots or most of them um, to really, um, really remove it. Um, there's also a couple of companies in the Northeast that use goats to, uh, to, to remove that top vegetation and eventually deplete the root system. But just be careful not to pet the goats because they'll be covered in the oils and uh, kind of uh, become kind of poison ivy-like themselves. <laughs> um, and so, just to wrap up, um, you know, if you've got poison ivy uh, in your area, in your area, you might consider posting a warning sign uh, so folks don't go walking through it uh, by accident. Um, and if you're in a, a position where you're you're trying to manage it. Um, do take kind of a long-term approach. You know, that root system is very extensive. It can take a few years to, to deplete it. 
um, or if you're in a hurry, uh, you might try to dig it out or, or contact a, uh, a, landscape a landscaping professional to dig it out. But be advised that the roots uh, also contain the oil, even in the winter. Um, so at all times of year, in all circumstances, you want to be very careful uh, with poison ivy. Um, and for more resources, do check out our, our website, um, which has uh, information on other weeds and other pests. Thank you.